Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together today. You know, every day we hear a different story from Muslims and uh, the Muslims, they say they don't worship Muhammad, they worship Allah. And uh, they claim that Islam teach them to be decent, to tell the truth. Uh, they claim that Islam is about decency, uh, you know, being honest, etc. But each time I watch a Muslim video, not only I find how much the video is full of lies, I find it really hilarious. This is Mufti Ming, and I have the link for his video in the info. This is the title of his video. In this video, uh, Mufti Ming, he said, The Prophet was accused of many false things. The Prophet never seek revenge. The Prophet never, you know, harm people. The Prophet never look at women. The Prophet never look for power. The Prophet never look for money. I mean, the video is full of lies. But one of the astonishing lies I stop with is where he said the following. Not at all. What was that? It was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah tells him something. The Prophet is not at all of what they say. Not at all. From their offspring, those who will embrace Islam, go to Ta'if today. You will find from the citizens there, they are, they are no non-Muslims. At Ta'if is a city where when Muhammad, he went there, the people, they did beat Muhammad, they broke his teeth. And Muhammad, he stayed out of his house for a month and he don't want anyone to know what happened to him. It was a shameful behavior. They laugh at him and they say they're from all the Arabia. You is the prophet. But here the funny is that the Arab, they accuse Muhammad of something, something very strange. Not at all. What was that? It was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah tells him something. It used to hurt his heart when Abu Sufyan, al Akhnas ibn Shuraiq, Abu Jahal, and the others used to say bad words about him. They used to spread accusation. He is a womanizer. Astaghfirullah. He is a womanizer. Astaghfirullah. And on what grounds? In what ground? Astaghfirullah. In what ground? <laughs> In what a ground, man? I mean, the guy have 13 wives, unlimited numbers of sex slaves. He made verses, and by the way, those are a privilege. Muslims don't have the same. Muslim can marry only four. He made verses claiming it's coming from Allah, stating that any Muslim woman, she is willing to give herself to the Prophet so he can excuse my language, if her and this potato saying in which ground I mean which ground so honestly what is the ground of your accusation what this have to do with God look all this if we can call it a verse all of this is about how many women Muhammad he can if oh Muhammad you can if the following, your wives, that's the news, the guy is ifing them for the last century and now you are telling him, don't you think the news is too late? The one you paid their mahar, ah, okay. And uh, the uh, your captive slave, okay, how many thousand he have? Uh, whom their right hand possessed to rape your slaves. Whom Allah gave to you, Allah gave it to him, that's, you know, they did not, you know, I mean, Allah. It's not him who captured them, I mean, it says captive, captive. And then Allah gave to you. Oh, okay. And the daughter of your 
paternal uncle, okay, and the daughter of your paternal auntie, okay, and the daughter of your maternal uncle, okay, and the daughter of your uh, maternal auntie, okay, and any immigrant women from Mecca with you, okay, and any believing women, she offer herself to the prophet, she wish the prophet to F her as a privilege for you only and this potato he is saying in which ground is it it is what this is the only you know Muslim this is speak about him as a pro as a prophet right how you know a false prophet from real prophet he gave false prophecies and we can prove Muhammad he gave millions of them even the ones Muslim the same they come to true it, it's it's absolutely false you know a false man when he gave himself a privilege if Muhammad was a Muslim why Muhammad is not a Muslim listen carefully if Muhammad is a Muslim so why Muhammad is not a Muslim because if Muhammad is a Muslim, he will shall, shall have what the Muslim privilege have equally. If the Muslim man he have a privilege to f four wives, why the Prophet he have unlimited numbers, and why he have a privilege that any woman she can offer herself, and why he have a privilege of the money too, the fifth of the booty go to his pocket. And why he have a privilege that nobody can sleep with his wife after he die? And why he have the privilege that he go to his own son wife and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there? And then they say to you, in which ground you are saying the prophet? You know, this is not about being a womanizer, by the way. The word womanizer is a wrong word. Womanizer, somebody like women, no problem, you know. I mean, all men like women, that's not a secret. But this is about being faithy. This is not about being a womanizer. This is being about being false prophet. A false prophet, he seek always two things from his followers, money and sex. Money and sex. All of them, and for sure, you know, money and sex mean power too. I mean, that power, you know, to be a leader so you can control the crowd. And this is what Muhammad is about. Now, who here is a Muslim? He dared to call us and tell me I'm wrong. Who is a Muslim? He dared us, dear, to call and support what Mufti Minki said. In which ground? In which ground you say and you accuse Muhammad that he is a person after women? He is not after God. In which ground? If you read even the verse before it, when some women who they are over the age Muhammad he prefer, and the funny is, Mufti Mink, when he continued talking, he's saying, the Prophet, he married a woman, she is way older than him. Well, because he is a man who loves money. This is not because he is not after women. He is after old women. Khadija was the richest. She had three husbands. And as Mufti Mink, he said in his video, if he is a womanizer, then why he married a woman? She is way older. Well, isn't she the most rich woman in Quraysh? And Muhammad, he used to work for her. So she is the boss. Obviously, Muhammad was the secretary for the boss. And the boss, he asked the secretary to do things in the office. So Muhammad, he got his opportunity finally to be rich. So he married a woman. She is way, way older than him. She is in the age of his mother. Not because he loved her. But because she is rich. This is why Muhammad, he did not 
marry any women during the time Khadija she was alive because she will kick him out he will go bankrupt after she died he started jumping from a woman to a woman and even children and here in chapter 33 verse number 51 Allah said to him Muhammad when he noticed that some women they are not what he is liking or not the kind he liked to sleep with Allah said to Muhammad, O Muhammad, you can postpone the turn of women whom you will of them. There's no wives, by the way. Those women, they want to sleep with him. And you may receive whom you will. Look, Muhammad, he made a verse saying, any believing woman, she like to be if by me, just offer herself. Women, they start lining up, not because they like Muhammad, but because now they will get a free food. They will get a free shelter. They will get the protection. They get a retirement plan. She will be the, the girlfriend of the Prophet. And the Prophet, any woman he if her, no man can touch her forever. So a believing woman, she offer herself. Well, we believe in women, they start lining up. To the point, Aisha, she said, I felt jealous. And I said to the Prophet, sound to me like your God, he rushed into your desire. Sound to me. Hmm? Read carefully. Aisha, she knew that her husband is a scam. She knew he's a fraud. I mean, who knows more? She is very, she sleep with him in the same bed. I felt jealous of the women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger and said, then when Allah, the exalted, the glorious, revealed this, you may differ any one of them you wish, and you take to yourself any you wish. And if you desire any you have set aside, no sin for you. Oh, look, 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 look. Allah, he sent the verse from Muhammad saying, you may take one now, leave ten later, take the youngest, kick out the oldest, take the, you know, in the old days, you know, like, I don't know if you know, the Arab, they used to like the women, the women who they are big, you know, not the women like today. Today everything changed. <clears throat> like, if a woman she is skinny, supposedly she is a, you know, uh, based on the standard today, she is the beautiful one. And if she is in the old days, if she is so huge, she is the most beautiful. So Muhammad looked like some skinny women. They start lining up, and some old women they start lining up, and Muhammad don't want those. So he said to himself, what the heck? Let me make a verse. And the verse says, give me a license against my previous license. The previous license says any woman she offer herself. Now I want to give myself another license says, well, you know what? I can pick up from them, not all of them. And this is exactly what this verse is about. If we can quote a verse. And look what Aisha, she said to her fraud husband. It seemed to me, Aisha, she said, it seems to me that your Lord has to satisfy, satisfy your sexual desire. Do you see it? So, Mufti Mink, he said, in which, in which ground? Hey, hey, Muslims, in which ground? And look, look at those faces. Look, look, look at this. Look. Long beard. But they will not be able to deal with me for two seconds. They will be in the floor. You see, those people, they have a, uh, they have a big number of subscribers on YouTube, supposedly, etc. But in reality, you can, you can put them in the floor in two seconds. All of those who they are making themselves defending Islam in two seconds. Who can refute this? Why Allah, he want to give the Prophet a privilege to have sex with women to offer themselves to him. Anyone who can tell me what this have to do with serving God. 
What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with religion? Did Moses give himself a privilege about how many women he can sleep with? Did any of the prophets made verses claiming that God told him you are special and you are special only when it's come to the bed and the money? Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and would like to join us live on air? My Skype is open. Last time we spoke, we have uh, a Muslim girl from Morocco. She decided to leave Islam. And looked like she called me today in the morning, my time, and I wasn't here uh, because she promised she would bring her father, her Moroccan father, to speak to me. But I wasn't, uh, I wasn't live. Do we have any Muslim? Isn't it amazing that you Muslims, you lie, you say in which ground? Isn't it your book saying that the prophet, he went to his own son, wife, when the wife was alone and he flirted with her and then later he took her to bed? And then you say in which ground? Isn't it the prophet, he promised you that you will have a lot of women for bed. However, he have a privilege of the power of 4,000 men in the earth, in heaven. Power of ifing. Every Muslim man, he will have the power of 100 men in heaven. On ifin, Allah will increase his ifin power, mashallah. <laughs> what a religion. <laughs> but Muhammad, he have the power of 40 men of the people of heaven. That is a 4,000 men horse ifin power. Do we have any Muslim? They lie, they praise him, he's amazing, he is so good, he is a thief. How many caravan he attacked? Even his donkey he stole from the Jews, even his sandals. Even the Muslims, they accuse him that he is a thief. And there is a verse about it in the, in the Quran. He took a piece of a clothing, which is, they themselves, they stole. I mean, like this is after the thief, they steal something, they fight over the bounty. The thieves, they discovered that one of their thieves, his name is Muhammad, he took a piece of a clothing. And this is telling you what kind of a quality, the companion of the prophet. You see, the companion of Jesus, they were walking with him on water, healing people, doing miracles, giving their life, literally sacrificing their life, not by killing people, they got killed. Living poor, dying poor, tortured, Muhammad was busy and his companion, they were busy too. They were looting. And now after looting, they are accusing their prophet that he stole a piece of clothing. And look at the translation. No prophet could ever be false to his trust. Where it says that? I mean, when you read the Muslim translation, this is why, you know, I say like those who debate Muslims based on the translation, 
Those terms can fool you because they can choose a translation. This is false. This is nothing to do. What what false in his trust? This is about he being accused of stealing clothing. Don't let the prophet go to Walmart. He will put a piece of clothing under his skirt. This is your prophet. Face it. What happened to this verse? It is not for any prophet to take illegally. Look, 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 illegally, guys. And it says part of the booty. It's a booty. How it is legal for you? They stole it. They call it booty. It is not for the prophet to take illegally. Look at the, what legal, brother. He took what? What take illegally? He was a thief. False translation. Liars. Liars, my friend. Liars. No dignity. Trust. Yeah, this is the one saying trust. Let us see a different one. Let us see uh, uh, this guy. Uh, Sarwar. Let us say Sarwar. Sarwar. Huh. No prophet can ever trash Horus. A trash Horus person will be brought before Allah. Trash Horus. <laughs> I, I guess those guys are using Google translation. They don't speak Arabic, obviously. Uh, and it is not a trouble to the prophet that he should act and faithfully look where did they get this translation from what act and faithfully what, what what the heck is that sahih international let us see sahih international maybe we got lucky it is not attributable for any prophet that he would act unfaithfully in regard to what about you look what the heck We keep we keep looking uh, translation of curry, curry or curry. Unbelievable, man! Look, a prophet may not breach his trust, and whoever breach his trust will bring breaches into the beaches. And what the heck is that? Let us go and see the interpretation for the verse and you will see how they are trying to duct tape what happened. The companion, they are asking the prophet, where you took it, you, you liar, you stole the panty. Chapter 3, verse 161. Here we go. What happened to this page? Okay. All the translation, they are trying to avoid that the Muslim, they were asking Muhammad, accusing Muhammad. You took it. You took it, you thief. You did take it. Read carefully with me. This is Tafsir Jalain. And when some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some people began to say, perhaps the prophet took it. Took it, huh? Or, or steal it. Perhaps. And actually, this verse here, showing us how silly, stupid Islam is. I mean, imagine we have God who is living in the seven galaxies behind the seven seas, watching Mickey Mouse, and now he heard the news that his prophet been accused that he stole a panty. And now the God, he decided to defend the prophet. So what he say? Uh, it's not uh, the prophet uh, to do it. Okay, who did it then? Why you don't tell us who did it? Have you ever heard of detective his name is Allah like this. He solved the problem. It's not Muhammad who took it. Why you don't tell us who took it? 
which actually confirming that two things confirming that Muhammad is a false prophet because if his God is a true God he should tell Muhammad go to the house of this guy he is the one who took it and the other thing it confirmed that Muhammad is the one who took it so when Mufti Mink he says in which ground those people they are speaking bad about the Prophet he was the most honorable He was the most amazing, the most merciful. Not only that, he said that the prophet, he never seek revenge. He never harm people. What the heck? Isn't it your prophet? He put nails in the eyes and cut hands. Is that the punishment in Islam to put nails? Where in the Quran it says you put nails in the eyes of somebody? Is that a punishment or this is torture? Hmm? If somebody kills somebody, you kill him. I understand. No problem. Actually, I agree with it. I agree with the law it says the one who kills should be killed. But what is this? why he is putting nails in their eyes and cutting their hands and their feet and he crucified them and he let them die in the, in the sun huh is that a revenge is that a justice do we have any muslim would like to join us live on air Uh, okay, somebody is an idiot. He is texting me. Let us block you. Only Muslims can text me, especially when I say only Muslims. And even if you are a Muslim, don't text me unless you want to talk. Unless you want me to talk, you talk to you. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan with long beard, short beard, white beard? We accept all kind of beard, even the one which is weird. Anyone? Any Muslim, if you are a Muslim, text me and say, I'm a Muslim, I, wanna, I want you to call me, please. And I will call you. Be sure that you are a mature person. If you are under the age, don't call me. According to Muslims, mature is age of six. We asked them about Aisha. They say she was mature at that time. In fact, Aisha, she was dating at the age of four. Mm -hmm. At that time, brother, female, they grow so fast. Yeah, because they eat fertilizer, you know? I mean, think about it. At that time, things is more healthy. It's organic. Aisha, she eat organic food every day. So she grows so fast. What do you need to grow something fast? Sun and water and organic food. Aisha, she got it all. At the age of four, she was dating. She lost her virginity at the age of three. But not because of sexual relationship. It was because of a bicycle. Any Muslim? And then they say to you, in which ground that the prophet, he was after women. This guy, not only after women, he is after kids. Women, I wish it was just to women. This guy, even after boys. He looked at Osama, and Osama was a young boy. He said, uh, 
Hmm. If Osama was a girl, I would dress him, put makeup on him, make him pretty, and marry him off. If Osama is a girl, why in the world the prophet, he is wishing a boy to be a girl? And when he did that, he did that after he was licking his face. Because the boy, he fell down in the ground. Do we have any Muhammadan? As I said, if you are a Muslim, tell me that you are a Muslim. So I will call you. If you don't tell me you are a Muslim, I will not. If you are not a Muslim, don't try to call me. Do we have any Muslim? You know, the funny thing is, we ask Muslims and we show them reference, which is clearly proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What the Muslims answer us? Take a look. This is how the Muslims, they run away from what we show in the screen. It's embarrassment. Christian Benz, are you Christian? I mean, again, his name is name. The guy, his name is Hindu Prince. Is he Hindu? Are you Hindu? Hey, Christian Prince, are you Christian? Uh, let me. Can I call a friend, please? I don't know because I'm not sure. Hey, Christian Prince, are you Christian? Okay, answer the first question. Okay, I'm Christian. But are you fully sure? I'm not fully sure, brother. I'm half. I wish I can make a C scan, like a, 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 what they call it, a scan, so you can see which half is full. What's wrong with you? What fully sure? What partly sure? What the heck is the wrong with you? Fully sure? Are you fully insured? Are you fully man or fully idiot or fully ignorant? Either he's a Christian or not. He cannot be fully or half. Half. A, have you ever heard of somebody is half a Christian? He's a, he's a Christian, but he's half sure. And then, are you fully sure about Christianity being truth, that Jesus is being true God? That's deep. What about you as a Muslim? You call me and let us see who is sure, who is not. I am very sure. Are you sure that your God, Allah, is God? Or you are half so, so sure. Who is a Muslim? He is so sure that his God is God. Anyone? Anyone? If you call us, Allah will grow a beard for you. The only one I feel sorry for him is Zachar Naik. This guy, he is trying all his life to grow a beard. He put fertilizer, he put shish kebab, and it's not working. And look at this beard. You know, when they grow beard, is that because they have knowledge? or because they are trying to cover up their neck. Who is a Mohammedan would like to call us and show us that we are wrong? That Muhammad was honorable, wonderful, acceptable, I mean, even the people around him, even his uncle, you see the, you see the names he mentioned? The names he mentioned is people, who they are his family. The family of Muhammad, they knew he's a false person.
When a Muslim, he tried to be proud about his prophet, what he do? What is exactly will make me proud about Muhammad? Beside that he can do so good with women, which is absolutely false, by the way, because the hadith itself confirmed that the prophet, he never had sex with his wives. This is why they cannot have babies. Aisha, she said, the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. So Muhammad was doing what? What was Muhammad doing during the time which is coming from the date of such and in the date of such? You see, such and such is a very well-known well -known way to date things in Islam. Islamic religion, by the way, is very historical. Look, when you are born in the year of such, which the month? In the month of such. Okay, what day? In the day of Sachin. In the day of Sachin, like you can say 15, 16, you know? So, in you know, from such, and for such and such. I mean, the prophet between the two such was what? Was imagining himself having sex. Between the two such. Victor saying, who is the donkey? He blocked me. My friend, you are insulting my admins. And that sounds like you have a, they, they have a reason to block you. Here we go. I will block you. Who is the donkey? He blocked me. What you expect now? People not to block you for saying that? Yeah, here we go. We blocked you. What you can do about it? Go eat hummus. Who is a Mohammedan can tell us what's going on? As you see, you're a prophet from the date of the from the year of such until the month and the year of such, till the day of such, he was imagining himself such a sex doing. It was a such all over the place. Actually, I believe that the Muslim they started a new religion is called the prophet of such and such may Allah such on him and you know the prophet was under the such and such black magic and Allah was doing what he was watching so Allah he rushed into help only when the prophet when in need of verses to F women but when he cannot F Allah he is just standing still watching for such and such a time watching Who is a such a scholar? He can make such a call so he can such us with his answer. So we can such together. CP, everyone here can block each other. Yeah, I know that. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Any Muhammadan here? Any Sheikh? Anyone? Nobody? Okay, Victor, we made your vo your, your name come back again. You can text again, but don't use uh, such a language. Uh, so only Gentiles can come out of your mouth. Is that the Holy Spirit? That's deep. Brother, you just got me busted. People, people, look how this Muslim, he got me busted. 
Look what he said. Herji Herja. Man, your name is a musical. Let me sing it. Herji Herja, how are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Isn't it your prophet? Keep saying penis, saying vagina all the day to you. Herja, Herja, what's wrong you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. I am just quoting your prophet. Isn't it your prophet? He said you will have an endless penis. So when I quote your prophet, you are saying to me, is that the Holy Spirit, Abdul? In fact, according to you Muslims, all Muhammad words is coming from the Holy Spirit, the Islamic Holy Spirit, which means you are right. When Muhammad, he say vagina, the Holy Spirit of Islam is giving it to him. When Muhammad, he say penis, the Holy Spirit of Islam is given to him. Uh, actually, hold on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I should show you this uh, this hadith as long as you mention it. Have you ever heard of a religion that the God he said to his prophet, if you if your wife, Allah will give you a good deed. Yeah, you mention it, you mention it. You know, I heard about a lot of religion, but I never heard that if somebody F his wife, he will receive good deed. Read carefully with me. And look at the Muslim translation. <laughs> Could have felt his desire. <laughs> the guy he said, the people say, uh, ask, he fulfilled his diet. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, the prophet said in the morning, arms are due for every, every bone. In a man figure, every bone, okay. And toes, salutation in everyone. Salutation, salutation, yes, uh, everyone. He meet his arms. Enjoying good is arms. Forbidding what is this is this is this is brutal is arm is arms removing what is harmful from the road is arms wonderful having sexual intercourse with his wife is arms what the heck what if in your wife you are doing good deeds? I mean, even this one you are asked, didn't Allah, hey Allah, look what I did to you. Even, even, even this one, you Muslim, you want a reward for it? Are you there, Mr. Hijri, Hijra? Guys, I have to go because I need to do a lot of good deeds. Okay, sorry. I can't stay long. Okay, honey, I'm coming. Just let us go and make us some good deed. You will receive a lot of deed. And each time, like, bing, boom, bing, you know. Not only that, actually. Uh, there's different hadith, actually. I'm trying to find it. He said, each time you put it in, you receive a deed. Each time, what? What the heck? Actually, not, not only that, you will find the video in Mufti Mink. Mufti Mink, he have a video about it. Each time you put it in, you receive a deed. The deed, the deed, the deed is coming. I mean, the deed is coming, literally. What the heck? And you are talking about uh, what I'm talking about. This is your religion. Let us go to the Quran. Have you ever heard of a book of God? Describe what is, how the vagina is in the heaven. Me. Look, look, look. This is the religion of Allah. Masala. Amar Rabbi Aman. Amar Rabbi Aman. Who can call Erdogan? Brother, as long you are talking about ad, 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 against talking about Gentiles, what the heck is this? 
Alms mean deed, good deeds, good deed. You receive good deed. So like, you know, you you know, your wife, she take off her panty, you start doing things, you know, each time you go in, out, in, on, you know, you are receiving a death deed. So like you have to count how many times you put it in and out, excuse my language, and then you can calculate how much deed you receive. So like 100 times, 100 deed, to make it simple for you. Do we have any Muhammadan he wanna? I mean, look, look how they refute me. Look how they answer me. I caught their prophet, like Mimi Hijab. He wanted to frame me. He said, "A Christian sexual predator." I was quoting your faith, your prophet, your coward, and your sister. She was insulting Jesus. She said that he play with his uh, mother boobs. She's a whore. You did not get it. How can God be born? of a man for Jesus to be God, Mary have to be goddess to brother. That's deep. That's deep. Look how he changed the topic in the speed of light. He didn't want to talk about Gentile no more. Do you see how fast the first topic he got busted. He said, let me switch. Let us switch fast. Before it's too late, he is exposing more verses and more stories from my stupid prophet, the only 24 hours a day. But at the end of the day, he can do nothing about it. So let us switch the topic. Okay, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You did not get it. How can God be born of a man? What the heck? Who is the man which is God is born of a man? Abdul? Ah, hold on. Now I got it. According to your God in the Quran, Jesus was the Word of God. And that Word is from Allah. And Allah is where the Word is born from. Hmm. It must be right then. He is born of God in Christianity. He is born of God in Islam. How come you did not get it? Isn't it your stupid Quran says that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary? So where was Jesus before he came to Mary? He was above. Above where? Where? In heaven. Where? You will say to me in the mouth of Allah. What the heck? Is that your Quran or I'm making things up? Why you don't call me, my friend? What you will lose if you call me? <clears throat> Chapter 4, verse number 171. It says that the Messiah is the word of Allah which sent down to Mary. Chapter 4, four verse number 171, confirm many things actually. Number one, that Jesus was the word, and here Muhammad obviously is copying John chapter 1, verse number 1. And that word was sent down to where? To Mary. Wonderful. How Mary receive it? The Quran says he sent down. Look, look at this. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was between two brackets no more than a messenger. Okay, wonderful. And he is his word. So Jesus is a messenger and he is the message. Well, this is what the Christian is saying. God the Father, he sent him to be a messenger and a message, for he is his only begotten son. Where Jesus is born from? From God. Where the word of God is coming from? Who is a Muslim can answer me? Where the word of Allah is coming from? Any Muslim can tell us? 
I challenge this guy Hijri or Hijra. He will not change the topic. Where the word of Allah is coming from? Any Muslim can tell us. Now he will try to think for a different topic. They don't want to answer. Where the word of Allah is coming from? My friend, the one who keep talking about uh, Safwan, and we got it. We don't repeat many 1,000 times in Arabic. Hirji, are you there? Where is the word of Allah is born from? Come on, guys. I have to teach the Christian that Trinity was discovered 300 years after Jesus. Changing the topic in the speed of light. I just text you. You text me my name. What text me my name? What do you mean text me my name? You text me in Skype? Guys, come on, guys. Trinity discovered, brother. The Trinity was discovered. Discovered. I like Discovery Channel, by the way. 300 years after Jesus. That's a good thing. Who is the donkey? He said that to you. Let us see this guy. We are calling our friend. Hello? Hello? All right, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Where is the word of One God? One second, is please. I'm trying to get the uh, sound off. Huh? Where is, the, where is the word of God is born from? Uh, one second, please. I can't hear you. The uh, volume is a bit down here. What? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Aren't you the one who... Uh, his name is Hirji in the chat? No, I don't, I'm not the one. Oh, okay. Well, you are a Muslim, right? I am a Muslim. All right. We were talking about where is the word of Allah is coming from. What do you think? From Allah. Wait, okay, from Allah from where? From him. How can your word come from another okay. person? If you are talking, no, your word is coming from you. Right? All right. Okay. So the word of Allah is coming from Allah, but from where? Do he speak with his mouth? If he has mouth, we don't know. We know there is Allah. We don't if know he, uh, how is. If he have mouth. We don't. If he have mouth. We don't use if here. Allah spoke, and we don't know how the creation of air. I don't. I can't say creation. How Allah is, we don't know. So if he said that's his word, that's his word, that's how we take it because we never see Allah, he never gave us his image how it is. So uh, like, we can't see so, from his mouth. So when Allah is so but Allah have eyes, right? I can't tell. That's you don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I say we know there's Allah. I never see Allah says, I have eyes like you, I have nose like you, I have mouth like you. I don't know. So I know Allah says that. We use the word said because that's what we people can use. We can say Allah said. But so, we don't know how he so says when, so, when, so when Allah he say I said, he don't mean he said. He means something else. Now you're trying to let me speak to uh, for Allah. I can't speak for Allah. No, no. I'm I not asking you to what... speak for Allah. I'm asking you. Uh -huh. uh, when Allah yeah. he say, he said, he, he, he did not say anything. It was a lie. No, he's, if he said, he said. But no. don't, uh, don't ask me to say with his mouth, with his nose, with his ears. I don't know. Okay, so does the Quran say Allah he said? He said that. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, that's why I said the Quran said that. Allah said. Okay, so Allah he said. So how you say to me, Allah he did not mean to say I said. Like everybody said. So why he is saying I said. If don't change say. my word. Okay. I didn't say Allah didn't say. 
Okay. I said, I just confirmed to you the Quran said Allah said, but don't make me say Allah said with his mouth or with however Allah says it will get the message. Okay. And he said, he let said us, that. Let us yeah. focus on something very, very important. When you say yeah. to me, when we say that Muslim believe that Allah have uh, eyes, he have a mouth, he have a hand, he have a foot. Do Allah use his hands? Where, uh, where did Muslim believe that? I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, but why are you saying if you are not a Muslim, why do you say Muslim believe Allah have mouth, eyes, and hands, and everything? Well, we can use it. We can use those figure like a figure of speech and say, in the hands of Allah, we are all in the hands of Allah. But it doesn't mean we are sitting in His hands or we see His hands. But okay. if if like you have kids now, we can say your kids are in your hands. But it doesn't mean they no, are sitting in your hands. No, we can say my God, my my kids in my hand. How does that work? That's, yeah, that is, said, that is that's what correct. I'm telling you. No, like, I'm wait, asking, I'm, okay, go, did Allah I'm create? You, did Allah create? Did Allah create? Don't any, don't jump from question. Let's finish one. No, no we are in the question. Another. Did Allah create yeah, anything that's using what I'm his? Saying, like, did Allah create? I'm finishing anything, with your kids. Did example, Allah create anything if, uh, using his hands? If anybody is under your control, my friend, if anybody is under your control, we say he is in your hands. But doesn't mean he's inside your hands. But we have here an action. We have an action. We are not talking about metaphorical. Did Allah create things by his hands? If he wills, he uses his hands to create it. How he use the hands, if his uh, hands like we have, it's up to Allah. Okay, we I'm, can't I'm, say that. I'm just going with your word. You just said he used yeah. his hands to create them. I didn't say he used his hand. Well, he, I said uh, if Allah, if Allah uses his hand like he said, uh -huh. we don't know how the hand sits. Who cares? But, but he uses his hands. Our hand. Who cares? If he says hands, we, we, don't, yeah, we don't care how his hands look like, my friend. Maybe he have six fingers. This is not the question. But Allah, He used His hands to create, correct? That's what you said. I, it's not me. You're, you're, this is your religion saying that. Yeah, so He used His hand. Okay, okay. So how you claim now that Allah, when He speaks, He don't use His mouth? If Allah, in order to create, He have to use His hand, then well, when Allah, He speaks... You are changing things. Don't, make, don't say, I'm claiming. I didn't claim anything. What I'm telling you, like Muslims, we don't, we never have image of Allah like you people have. No, you your, do. The no, image you of do. Your God. no, no, you do. No, you do. We do. Yes, you do. You don't know. We don't have image of Allah. No, you do. Did the Quran says uh, how image of Allah is? Well, I just, you know, I, I just told you that Allah He created by using His hand. You are saying we don't have an image. You have hands. You have a foot. You have a shin. You have a face. If somebody, that's what I'm telling you. Okay. If somebody use another figure to describe something, doesn't mean that unless he tells you this is my image. Okay. Then, or did, he shows did, us Allah, our... did Allah create Adam in His image? Did the Quran says that? The Hadith. Like you see, any anything that contradicts with Quran. Okay. Show me. We know what, the show me where that it is says, not Sahih. We know. Show me how. Listen. Show let me, me how, finish. You don't. Show you me see, how that You control the things. You don't let finish, uh, people well, friend, finish. We are having a to conversation. We are having a conversation. Yeah. yeah so let me finish. Let me you. Learn don't complain. Don't you cry. Don't another. complain. You can talk. I'm talking no, at the same time. No, I'm not complaining. So I did not stop That's you. how you. We are having a conversation. So you said. You said this is a contradiction for the Quran. How Allah He said your prophet He said. Allah, He created Adam in His image. You are saying to me, this is contradict the Quran. The How that? You said, listen, where, where you see this hadith that is uh, sahih, and we have hadith that is not, we don't have the uh, like chain for it and everything. Well, this, so, is, this is the da'if hadith. So, what we would do now? So, what, so what do you mean this hadith is da'if? Da this is da'if hadith. You are right. This is I'm saying is da'if. I'm huh. telling you. If any, I can, I'm not a scholar to tell you this is Taif, this is Sahih or whatever. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you, if any of these contradicts Quran in the slightest way, okay. we leave it. The okay. Quran is the ultimate. I will go. The I will word. go with you. I will go with you. The Quran says you, you do. The Quran. The Quran to... says you do muta. The Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one you follow? You go with Quran if Quran says that. So you still practice muta until now? I'm saying I go with Quran. If I, Quran I, says I understand. That, I understand. I understand. Do you still practice muta until now? If the Quran says that, I can do it if I want. Okay. Because so, that so why you so to... why you Muslim follow the Hadith and the Quran says you do muta? The Muslim Sunni, all of them Sunni. Are you Sunni? It doesn't matter. I'm a Muslim. You are. A, there's nothing. It's called a Muslim. Your prophet he says there's 73 sect. You have to be one of them. No, it doesn't matter. No, but the it doesn't matter. Your prophet no, he said, 
You're a prophet. It, it, the, You're it, a the, prophet. Pro, uh, the prophets say you have to be one of the sects. Yes, because he decided there are 73. There's no extra. There's no less. There's no more. It, the, the Muslim is the person who believe in the oneness of Allah, submission and everything, and believe in Prophet Muhammad is a Muslim. My friend, you all of them, they believe Muslim, in what you, you say. Brother to every all, all of them, they ah. believe in what you say. Stop playing games. All those uh, sects. I'm not playing they, games. You're this, trying to okay, be smart here. Okay, here we go. Here, your prophet, said, your prophet said, he said, the Jews were split into 71 or 72. The Christian, they split into 71 or 72. And my community will split into 73 sect. So you have to be one of so them. So which, which, sect, which sect are you? In Christianity, this is a lie. We are not 73 sect. This is a lie. Can you count them for me? So, if you say, yeah. if you say there is no 73 yeah. in each of uh, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, if he's you say that, so it okay. depends if the hadith is sahih okay. or it's not. Sah if it's, it, it's sahih. This is sahih. Where it's in front of you, it says sahih. Don't yeah, you, but how do you, don't know, you know how, how to read? Do you know it's sahih? How do you know? Are you a Muslim? You, you, are you a you, you Muslim told me. You Muslim told me. This is Sahih. It says in you, front of me. Muslim. You don't have Muslim friends. There's no Muslim. He's your. Uh, that's your friend. Uh, don't say your Muslim told you. You don't have a Muslim friend. No, I don't have a Muslim friend. No, sure. So why do you say our, your our Muslim friend told you? Nobody tells you. I did not you. say my Muslim friend. friend. I said my friend. You're Muslim. You're Muslim. I'm talking to you. You yeah, Muslim you told Muslim me. Here we go. Is me. that your website saying this is Sahih Hadith? Which website? The sunnah.com. Yeah, the website is created by a human. Human that this is a created by so the, they put in So you. okay, guys, the website is a created by a human. Who is the one who printed the Quran? Operated. Who who printed the Quran? Humans printed uh, printed okay. the Quran. You just said that if the but hadith is printed by the human, word is not from there. If the, but hadith, the website is okay. Hold on. Look. Do you have the name of the website? You is see? by the person who created it. He decided to give the website a name. No problem. And you then do not the person need, who printed don't it. Don't go to the words, don't go to the website. Open the Sahih book Hadith. Those are your scholar. This is Sunan Ibn Majah. This is your Sheikh Ibn Majah. Who is Ibn Majah? You, ne you never heard of is he a Ibn prophet? Majah. You never okay. I heard of him, but yes, that tells okay. me is, does he get word from Allah? What, did Muhammad, sent by did Allah? Muhammad receive word from Allah saying that? Did Allah give Muhammad word saying that your nation will be 73 sect? I'm you just going back to whatever we just spoke and then you're telling the same thing. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, if anything, if the Quran says 73 sect, I go with it hundred percent. If any hadith says that, Quran never says that. Okay, there is you know a doubt there. There oh, can be hadith. Uh -huh. I will give you. I will give you a test to see how much honest you are. Don't give me a test. I'm not here. I'm not in school. No, no, yet. no, no. You We're said just talking. you said don't, you go. No, don't say test. You said, just ask you, question, said, ask you, said you said you go only by the Quran. Whatever the Quran says. I didn't say only by the Quran. So what do you go? You go you by see, the hadith. You see, you always trying to. Do you give, go by the hadith? Oh, well, I gave you a hadith. You refuse it. I gave you a hadith. It says I refuse it. No, before you trying to. Yeah, why do you say I refuse? Uh, I didn't believe in hadith. I, I only go in uh, with Quran. I didn't say that. Okay. You are putting how up, you didn't uh, verify when I showed you the hadith? How you verify that this is the wrong hadith? The scholars do that. Okay, but the scholars the in the scholars front of you. Humans. The scholars, they, they also are the scholars in the front of you. They say this is what the prophet said. All the scholars. How many scholars are all the scholars? Don't tell me all the scholars. Use your words carefully. You can say a scholar said. Well, is, all is, Al -Bukhari, is Al Bukhari a, a, your scholar and he is the scholar of the scholars? That's what I heard. But if it okay. is this so from Bukhari, is Al, Bu is Al Bukhari, uh, listen, is, let me finish. Is Al -Bukhari, you, don't let me say yes. Is Al Bukhari trustworthy? Is Al Bukhari told, trustworthy no, wait, or just not? Just wait. Huh. You see, that's how you argue. Here we go. You, you cry. You, you, Each time you think I get you have busted, points. you cry. No, is you are Al Bukhari. Is because you're not letting me learn. Is Al Bukhari if you're not letting people is learn, you don't trust, get what they are Is Al Bukhari no. trustworthy? Yes or no? In, uh, but if uh, you just want me to answer yes, no, yes, no, I'm not a toy here. There's no, there's, you listen. There's no middle. If there's I give you a yes, point, I have to tell you no, something there's about. There's no it. middle. There's no middle. Either he is a trustworthy or he is not a trustworthy. So is he trustworthy or not? Bukhari is a, uh, is a human, right? Oh, a prophet Muhammad is a human, isn't he? He is. So that's how, why he said. Okay. That's why the Quran said he doesn't say a word from himself, but what he heard. Exactly. So that's what makes Thank you. Is human. Thank you very much. That's what puts him in a limited way. That whatever he says All right. is reliable. As long from as Allah's long strength. everything Muhammad he received is not from him, it's from Allah. 
how Muhammad he claimed that hail is coming from mountains in the sky. What hail? Yeah, hail in the hadith. He said hail is coming from the sky. Now you're going again in the hadith. So what? I thought what you want to say something from the Quran. So you are saying if, uh, if so, if I find something in the Quran like that, then you will accept or you will reject too? Yeah, just tell me what Quran says about the hail. Then we can discuss that. Well, the if anything hadith, you uh -huh. can tell me hadith. And then since we have. There is an hadith that is not true, and okay. there is an hadith that is true. Right. We can doubt. There's always doubt there. So just if you want to make a point, strong point, just uh -huh. always focus on Quran. Say Quran says that, and okay. then prove me wrong or right. All That's right. it. Okay, no problem. So if I if we go now and we find this in the Quran, is that the proof that Muhammad is a is a false prophet? No, you just have to tell me what is it in the Quran. Just go there. Don't chapter, start, uh, chapter, 24, chapter 24, verse number 43. Is it on YouTube? Uh, is the uh, translation on YouTube? Don't you speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic. I'm not Arabic. So how do you know what the Quran is saying? I have translation as well. I can read Which, the Quran. What, tra but I don't... what translation you like? That's why I say because you always... I, I'm I asking see you your, what uh, translation you like. It's English. What Why do you want to put in? We're speaking English. What the name of the translator? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just put trans. You so, always put. You never ask okay. people. So, so just put. Okay. So I will put for you. I will put for you the translation. And now you will tell me what do you think. What? What? Uh, is that okay? One second. I just want to see uh, if I can see the, the translation on YouTube. Uh -huh. One second, please. One second. One second, please. No problem. No problem. Take your time. Just say, uh, let me hear if I can hear you now. Hello? Go ahead. Do you see it in YouTube? I can't tell where I don't have the Can you speak in? Huh? Um, just say it. I can't see the uh, this thing because I'm using on the phone and I want to see on YouTube and I can't hear you. No problem. I Take your time. Take looking. your time. Just to mute just YouTube. Talk. You no, can, talk. I'm you, not going to you, you can open. You can open YouTube. Just to mute YouTube. You mute it. Yeah, we will. You will. You will watch, but you will not uh, hear. You will yeah, hear. I did that. I mute the YouTube, but uh, I can't get you speaking. Okay, here in front of the, me, the translation uh, it says in the front of, of me. Translation says, and he's saying. Don't worry about YouTube. Just and he's saying no problem. And he sends down out of here. heaven mountains wherein is hail. It's hail. What do you mean hail? Like hail, 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 ice, ice. You know, hail. You know, like those, yeah, like, yeah. like, uh, like a, like a golf balls. They come from the sky. The ice. Yeah. According, so according, to prophet, according to your prophet, according to your prophet, his God. No, are you him, talking Quran? According to Allah. Well, according to your if Allah. If you are talking Quran, well, don't you know, say. Uh, yeah. You see, in a, in a, in two seconds from now, you will say to me, Allah did not say that. Hold on. No, so, no, no, no. If you say it's in the Quran, I'll, I'll defend it. Don't worry. Just you, let's go. You on. said that already when I said to you the hadith says, you said to me there's no, hadith. You said hadith. The hadith, hadith are, I gave you a good are, example. Are, uh, uh, they are, they, we don't accept them. Okay, so now we have Quran. Don't so talk, uh, 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 now you are talking. Uh, 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 uh. Last yeah. time I heard so do you say accept the, Do you saying, accept the Quran? Uh, 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 uh. Do you accept the Quran saying Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven? So I said I can't see it now. Read it. What I did, what, I did, uh, I did. What's wrong with you? I told you open YouTube, you refuse. I read it for you, uh, and you are asking me read it for me. Here we go. Let me read again. Hard. Shut up. Let me read. Make and he said, Shut up. Make Let me read. Let me read. Us. Listen. And he said, <laughs> what, what, what Shut up. Let me read. Let, you asked me to read it for you. Ayah. You asked me to read it for you. You don't want me to read it for you. Tell me surah and ayah and read it. I did. You're going to say Surah Maida, Ayah 1. I did like from the this. beginning. I said to you, chapter no, 24, me, chapter 24, verse number 43. It's in the front of me in the screen. Yes. And he sent okay. down out of heaven mountains where is hail. What say you? Out of heaven. Yeah, there's mountains. mountains. They are flying. In the in the heaven, there's mountains flying. And Not in the heaven. He said from heaven. Yeah, from the heaven in the sky. Yeah, there's so not, there's not, the, the mountain is not in the heaven. It's sent from heaven. That's so No, no. So he sent the hail from heaven out of mountains. Yeah. yeah. Out of mountains. Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 the hail is coming from mountains. They are in the sky. Allah, he break ice from there and he sent it down to us. Yeah. So what is wrong with that? But isn't it this is something laughable and every kid 
in the world today he knew that this is false is that what science teach that, so uh, that so, ice... so what are you telling me how, how do you prove that is uh, wrong from the quran well you can go right now and check any website for or a book for children in your in your country which country is yours mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know your country. Why do you want to know my country? No problem, but I'm asking you in your school did not teach you how hail is made? Hail is not no, who, who, hail is coming who, from who, mountains. Hail is coming from mountains in the sky. This is what science says. And then there's a what God. Si what, what did science say? S uh, science says when, 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 okay, when there's a cloud and there is a steam become a cloud, and then there is like two uh, the two body of air. One is so hot, one is so cold, and when the rain is coming, in a certain point, he go through very cold air, and that will make him ice, and then will make the uh, the, the the rain ice, and that will fail on us. Yeah, but they have according, three type of rain, According right? to your religion, according they, they, to your religion, no, they, 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 according, they, uh, uh, science, but, but, okay, so science said they have three type of rains. We have cyclonic, we have relief, 